afternoon, I'm Amanda Meek. I'm the 4-H State STEM Specialist. And today we're gonna to be learning more about programming with Scratch. Scratch is a great introductory and also um, more advanced computer programming site that you can use. It's a free program that was developed by MIT. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the National Youth Science Day activity that was from 2019 to 2020. So with this, one of the activities was Pitch Your Passion. So we're gonna take a look at that today and show you how to make a video of your own that showcases a passion that you have. Hi, my name is Gabe. I work on computer science projects at Google. Today, you will build a project about an idea, activity, item, or cause you feel strongly about. Communicating your ideas and likes helps you connect with others who share your interests. Plus, when people come together around something they care about, they can celebrate what they love and start to work on things that need to change. What's an interest you want to share? Think about something that makes your community better, helps people, or makes you happy, like caring for the environment, practicing a sport or a hobby, doing something to help your community or a cause, or doing activities like cooking, playing music, fixing things, or being outdoors. You will make a project about the interests you care about the most in Scratch. The project you create will celebrate your interests and invite others to care about it too. Your project might inspire others to care about something, motivate people to change or try something new, or invite others to share your happiness with a fun or silly message. You will use Scratch to share your idea. To start, open the starter project in a new tab. Next, add a sprite to talk about the interest, activity, idea, item, or cause you chose. In Scratch, characters, objects, and animals are called sprites. As you build your project in Scratch, you will use characters, a setting, and different sounds to communicate something you care about. So now we're going to look at the starter project, which will launch you into using Scratch. So just to um, also note, there are several videos on this website. So um, I'll show you some things today that you can get started with your project. But um, if you're looking for additional animations to add on, there are things such as changing the costume, um, having your sprite move around, adding sound effects, uh, making your sprite speak. There are all kinds of videos similar to the one we just watched. And it will walk you through how to add those animations and different effects onto your sprite. So be sure to um, take a look at this website as it's very helpful to kind of walk you through. And also, as we all very um, do quite a bit in 4-H, we also have the opportunity to learn by doing. So feel free to get into Scratch and just play around and see what you can do. Um, put in some of the coding and see what happens and um, just, you know, do some testing out. So it's a great opportunity to um, learn some more about computer science and also show some of your creativity. So um, with this Pitch Your Passion, we're going to just click on the starter project from the website. Now, this is something, too, that you might want to take a few minutes to plan out what you want to use for your um, topic. So, um, you know, what's something that you're passionate about, whether it be helping the environment or, um, you know, making sure that everyone has access to clean water or whatever it may be. Um, it's very open-ended here, so feel free to take with what's you know, what your passion is and what's important to you and convert that into your animation. So we open this into Scratch. So with Scratch, you're going to have several different um, choices over here. These are all of the commands that you're gonna be using with your sprite. So there's things for the motion, so you can make your sprite move. There's different looks it can have. Um, there's sounds you can add, um, the events, the control, and we'll look at this a little bit more. Um, but just to give you an idea of how things look on this page, um, the backdrops then are going to be different backgrounds that you'll see. And we'll get into that in just a moment. 
And then of course you can also add sound. Everyone loves to add different sounds to Scratch. So you can re record things yourself or use the things that they already have here. Um, with Scratch, as I mentioned, it's a free program. So you can make a profile and save your project. So it's something that you can work on um, in different settings. So if you work on it, your project for a little bit and come back later and want to add to it, you can still do that. So it's a great um, resource. And there's also several projects that are already on here that other youth have created and different games that you can play too. So it's a neat resource to use. So it's also something that's um, pretty easy to use in your 4-H clubs or, you know, as a teen, if you want to go and teach younger kids, it's a good um, platform to get them started with coding. So um, this middle space here is where you're going to put your commands. So with the sprites, you want something that they call an event, just kind of triggers um, the sprite to know when to start. So we can use that, you know, when the flag is clicked and drag that over. Um, this is a drag and drop programming. So the pieces in the middle, they're going to fit together like a puzzle. So they have to touch each other and continue on down. Um, if you have different, um, if I, you know, add a sound, I need to make sure these align and click together. Um, if I have something out here that's on its own, it's not connected, then that's not gonna um, be part of the program. So then that part wouldn't happen. It's not gonna start the sound pop because it's not connected to the rest of um, the pieces that are up here with when the flag is clicked. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you have something out here that you don't want anymore, you just simply drag it back over here to your commands and then it deletes it. So um, you can also do that with an entire piece. If I decided I didn't want to do that with the sprite, I can just drag it all over there. So the middle part, like I said, you'll just add different things into that. So different events, um, and you can pick different ways for it to start. Um, with the controls, you also have some things about you can have it wait, um, you can repeat things. And I can, if I want something to repeat, whatever I want to repeat, I need to put inside of that bracket. And with these numbers, you can also change, um, just simply click on it and then put in what you would like it to be. So you can do that fairly easy. Um, and as you go down, this gets a little more complicated. So as you're, if you're just getting started in Scratch, I would stay above first with, you know, using the motion, look, sound, um, the events and control. Um, get a good feel for those first before you start moving into things like the variable variables and things like that. So, um, and Scratch is something that really builds upon itself. So it really can fit lots of different age groups and you can, um, you know, start as a beginner and get more advanced as you learn more things about Scratch. Um, from this side over here, this is going to show the sprite. So I can go in and pick um, the sprite that you'd like. And there's lots of different categories. So pick whatever you feel like you want to use for your um, pitch your passion. So the sprite's going to show. You can also have multiple sprites. So you would just go through the same motion to pick um, another sprite. So you can add several sprites actually. And you're just going to program for each of those sprites. So just keep in mind that whichever sprite is clicked here below, I'm adding coding for that sprite. So I would need then to go back and pick, you know, when the flag is clicked. And like I said, you can pick other ones too, but um, I'm just adding right now um, coding that's going to work for the green dinosaur. And then once I'm clicked back on the red dinosaur, then I can add coding for that dinosaur. Um, you can also add a backdrop. So just like the sprites, you can pick out what's here. Um, you can also paint your own background, which is the same with the sprite. You could also make up a sprite that you've created yourself. And similar to the sprite, there's just all kinds of options. So you can pick um, whatever you'd like to use as your background and then just continue on with your programming. So um, if you do form an account and you're able to save then your projects, you'll just use the remix up here. Click on that. That's your save button for your project so you can keep it going and continue to add to that. So there's, like I said, lots of different things you can do with um, Scratch. So feel free to check out. There's some tutorials up here too that'll help you if you have other ideas. And these are even things that are outside um, of the pitch your passion. So animate a name was actually the National Youth Science Day activity last year. So that's just simply taking your name um, and using those letters to add different sound effects and colors and um, just, you know, kind of jazzing up each letter so that it 
um, shows an animation of just your name. So another good activity to get you started in using Scratch. And there's just a variety of things down here. So if there's something you're not sure about how to do, just check out the tutorial on here. And like I've said earlier, you can also check out the Pitch Your Passion page. And there are several videos with different um, sound effects and things that you can add. Just there's a lot that you can do with Scratch. There's really, it's a great tool and something that you can really use your, um, encourages creativity and just, you know, make it, make, what you want out of it. Um, it's really something too that if you did create games, you could share with your friends and um, vice versa. And as I mentioned, there's other games and projects also on Scratch. So um, I really encourage you to check out Scratch and get to um, know more about it. And I did create a sample pitch. So something that I'm passionate about is teaching youth about STEM. Um, STEM's really something that's coming to the forefront as far as what we're going to have for future careers. And it's just really opens a lot of doors for youth. And I think if they really get that opportunity to learn more about computer science and robotics and um, just all those STEM fields, it's really gonna be a great opportunity for them down the road. And so, and it's fun, it's so much fun. So um, with 4-H, you know, we're all about hands-on learning. And so I think STEM just really ties into that. So um, I really like having the opportunity to Help kids learn more about robotics and STEM and that type of thing. So um, that's what I made my picture passion about. So I'll just give you, it's a little short one, but it gives you an idea. And as you, if you want to see the coding, here's the coding for Abby and then the coding for the robot. So as I mentioned earlier, each sprite will have its own coding and you'll just continue um, to add to that. And you could, like I said, add more sprites and um, there's so much more you can do with it. So really get in there and check it out. Um, I also wanted to add that we will have um, some online scratch classes. They've been happening on Tuesdays from 4.30 until 5.45 and it's um, through Zoom. So be sure to check that out. There's a registration in 4-H online. Um, it's free to anyone and you don't have to be a 4-H member to get involved with um, our online scratch class. So check that out. And we're also going to be planning on having some other computer science classes coming, so be sure to keep an eye out on the Missouri 4-H um, Facebook page, and we'll have some more of that coming out. So um, we look forward to seeing you in some of those classes. And as you do make your Pitch Your Passion program, please share that with us. We would love to see your projects, and so I'll include our email address, but it's um, mo4hcs at gmail.com just the letters, so no dash in the four. So it's mo4hcs at gmail.com. We'll include that along with um, some scratch resources. So as I said, um, we really encourage you to check this out, be creative and let us know how it goes. And thanks for um, joining us today. Mm -hmm.